CSB Super Short Courses present Accessible Chess. Two of my favorite. Video of two blind people playing chess. D2. Check. What makes this chess set blind friendly? So there's the black and white pieces, and there's the board. So the board itself is there is pieces that, I mean, there, there's the squares. That's the, um, I believe is the white uh, pieces are up there and the black pieces are um, kind of like engraved into the board. So there's the, um, there's like little shapes cut off of the board for signifying the different squares. Um, so there's the black and white squares in the board that pieces belong to. Um, now, how can I tell from each p uh, from the white and black the uh, black pieces have like a little peg on top and all the pieces have that. And uh, they also have um, a little peg on the bottom that each square on the board has like a little hole to uh, put insert in it and it doesn't move. Well, it does, but <laughs> it doesn't move whenever you touch it, it doesn't fall over like in regular chess would do. And the white pieces are smooth on top. So that's how I can tell from uh, the black and white. How do you describe where pieces are on the board? In the board there are 64 squares. Um, there is uh, some people, you know, in real tournaments, they say numbers and letters to, for people to be familiar with it. But the numbers go um, from the bottom up. So for example, if I was playing white, and the white pieces always um, and the left hand uh, side in the bottom, it, has, it starts with A1. So the numbers go to the side and the letters go up. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, and stuff. So. Bishop takes pawn at C5. How sad. It's a really good game to think, to forget about your own, um, let's say you're having problems or let's say you're having like, you know, some hard time. It's a really good game to like forget about those things and engage into something that um, is challenging for your mind. For information on courses that aren't so short, go to csb-cde.ca.gov and click on short courses.